Greetings, adventurers! This is Valinet from Wild Gold Titans, bringing you another lore video. This is for the Mogu. The achievement related to this is the Dark Heart of the Mogu. There are four pieces to this achievement. Let me show you the achievement. There are the Valley of the Emperors, Spirit Binders, the Lost Dynasty, and the Thunder King. Now, if you're just interested in the locations of these four pieces, you can click the link on the video right now on this little Mogu head. The spirit binders are located at 4217 coordinates in the Jade Forest at the Terrace of the Ten Thunders. The Lost Dynasties are located in the Crossarang Wilds at the Pools of Youth at location 5131. The Valley of the Emperors is located in the Kunlai Summit in the Tomb of the Conquerors at 5871. Note that this coordinate is inside the tomb. So don't go to 5871 Kunlai Summit. You're not going to find it. You have to go to the Valley of the Emperors. And the final one is the Thunder King at Mistfall Village in the Valley of the Eternal Blossoms at location 4077. And with that, why don't I read to you guys the lore about the Mogu. This is Spirit Binders, up here at the Terrace of the Ten Thunders at location 4217. For many ages, the Mogu used flesh as a weapon, warped, bent, and twisted to their malevolent will. But after their failures in creating the Saurok race, the Mogu sought to create another weapon, this time forged with total obedience. Their ancient research delivered them methods of turning flesh to stone and back again. Lifeless rock could be animated, providing a willing or unwilling soul could be captured within. These dark rituals created the Stoneborn, soldiers of jade and dark magic forged from the living essence of conquered victims. These creatures were powerful, terrible to behold, and above all else, 100% loyal to their Mogu masters. All right, that was Spirit Binders. To learn more about the Mogu, just keep watching as I bring you to the Lost Dynasty. We're here at the second of the Mogu lore objects. This is the Lost Dynasty. The Lost Dynasty can be found in the Crossering Wilds, in the ruins of Dojan, at the Pools of Youth. The coordinates are 5131. All right. The Lost Dynasty. Even by Mogu standards, the reign of Emperor Dojan II was short and brutish. His maniacal drive to finish his father's work and complete the great purge against the rebellious Sarak legions drove him to leave his court in disarray while he set out on a doomed military campaign. From his perch, High on the cliffs overlooking the Crossering Wilds, he oversaw the slow clear-cutting of the jungle and established the Dojani Dungeons, and the gradual genocide of the Sorak race. What he didn't expect was the remains of the Sorak 5th and 7th legions to scale the enormity of the cliffs in the dead of night, ambushing his imperial pavilion from the Valley of the Four Winds, and forcing him over the edge. His body was never found, and the resulting disarray in the capital left the Empire in chaos for over two years while the Sorak melted back into the wilds and disappeared. And that's the Lost Dynasty. Stay tuned while I show you the third piece, Valley of the Emperors. And we're here at the third Dark Heart of the Mogu lore scroll. It is inside the Tomb of the Conquerors in the Kunlai Summit. The Tomb of the Conquerors looks like this, and it is located near the Neverest Pinnacle. There is a cavern that you can enter, and then it has its own coordinates. The coordinates inside the tomb are 5871. This is Valley of the Emperors. The Mogu view their dead, as a collection of parts, souls can be bound to stone for later use. 
Flesh and blood could be reforged to expand the lives of those loyal to the Emperor. To be buried intact was a symbol of great power and respect. Here lies the Valley of Emperors, the resting grounds of a hundred generations of warlords, kings, and emperors who once ruled this land. Grave rob at your own risk. All right. And there you have it. I will see you at the fourth and final Mogu lore object. And we're here at the final Mogu lore object, the Thunder King can be found in Mistfall Village in the Vale of the Eternal Blossoms. Its coordinates are 4077. Let's read the Thunder King, shall we? It has been written that when the great Lei Shen first looked upon the lands of the Mantid, he did not feel fear, but inspiration. As he began to unify his people under a single banner and subjugate the other races of Pandaria, he knew that the Mantid would never, become, would never succumb to his authority. They spoke his language, the language of strength. He commanded his slaves to construct the Serpent's Spine, a magnificent wall that spanned the length of his empire. It would take many generations to build, but Lei Shen knew how to motivate his subjects. Fear. Fear of the Mantid moved mountains, raised armies, and secured his empire, and built his wall. And that's the story behind the Mogu. At the Seat of Knowledge, to see the final video for the Mogu lore. So let's go inside and talk to Lore Walker Cho. He'll show us the dark heart of the Mogu. Farewell. What do you fear most in this world? Have you conquered your fear? Or has your fear conquered you? In the ancient days before the sundering of the world, the Mogu emperors ruled over Pandaria. My people were made slaves, and they were afraid. The Mogu were masters of pain and torture, of dark magics and brutal weapons. No Pandaren, Hosen, or Jinyu could resist the power they held. And my people were afraid. It was the Mogu who built the Serpent Spine. The most unlucky of slaves were sent to aid in its construction and defense, to be fodder for the Mantid. And my people were afraid. As the Empire grew, the Mogu began to experiment with the secrets of the Vale. They crafted terrible weapons of living flesh and stone. And my people were afraid. In their hubris, the Mogu never foresaw that their downfall lay in wait. Not among their enemies, but among the oppressed. The day that one slave stood and was no longer afraid. And that's the story of the Mogu as well as a little bit more about the Pandaren. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Later, adventurers. This is Spirit Binders, up here at the Terrace of the Ten Thunders at location 4217. Lost Dynasty. The Lost Dynasty can be found in the Crossering Wilds, in the ruins of Dojan, at the Pools of Youth. The coordinates are 51, 31. It is inside the Tomb of the Conquerors in the Kunlai Summit. The Tomb of the Conquerors looks like this, and it is located near the Neverest Pinnacle. There is a cavern that you can enter, and then it has its own coordinates. The coordinates inside the tomb are 5871. The Thunder King can be found in Mistfall Village in the Vale of the Eternal Blossoms. Its coordinates are 4077. Thirty. 
38 inside this small temple. Let's go see what the origins of the Jinyu are. This early Jinyu shrine may provide some...